October 7th, and, uh, man, progress has been slow, been having to work, getting dark earlier, haven't been able to do a whole lot, but, uh, had to come in, and almost that whole 40-foot side and that back 18-foot length was so out of level by the time I reached the end, I don't know what happened, but I had to pretty much redo that whole thing, and, uh, finish that up this evening, <clears throat> And I had gotten some of this stuff they use on construction sites to hold dirt and stuff in. Uh, keep from washing out. And I just got it pegged up there uh, loosely with some stakes and a, a, a screw run through the stake into that uh, form board there. Uh, I'm going to use that and I got another piece of roll about the same size as this. Uh, everywhere where these uh, big gaps are like this. Because I'm going to come in, I'm going to be bringing dirt up to the bottom of this 2x6. And in order to get it level, <clears throat> my property sloped pretty bad, so it was really out of whack down here. So I've still got a little bit to do. I'm going to drew some artichoke right in the middle of the construction zone here. I'm going to try to preserve that. So uh, there's not really much on this side. It's not far off the ground. Uh... I'll probably try to bring that barrier on around and just, you know, eight, six or eight feet up this side and then uh, part way down that front. Now, we see that orange mark on that front there and on the ground there. I'm going to be cutting that <clears throat> out. That's where my door is going to be anyways. I put some extra stakes in here to hold it and... Uh, that's going to allow me to drive a little small tractor that I'm getting from my dad uh, to bring these piles of dirt that are grown over with grass. Got six loads of dirt from the county when they cleaned ditches around here uh, last year. And so that's what I'm going to use inside here to straighten this up a little bit. Uh, I have a well that I need to fix the pump on and a electric pole there for that well and so i'll be trenching from there to this front corner and bringing my water and electricity inside the greenhouse at that point it's only like 20 or so feet 20 22 feet away so uh i also went <coughs> and picked up all this two and seven eighths inch oil fill pipe I had the guy cut it to 10 foot lengths for me uh, 18 of them that cost me quite a bit 240 something dollars for that uh, to make my legs so they'll be starting in the front corner and then every five feet down the side to allow me to put my trusses on uh, on top of them uh, and I don't remember if I showed this in the last video but this stuff here if you'll be able to tell much about it with the end profile this is aluminum. This come off of another style of greenhouse, but this is going to be like my top board where the bow comes over to meet the wall. This will be screwed on, and it's got this groove, and there's some special rods that go in here. Uh, you pull your roof plastic over past this and snap them rods, and it keeps it tight, and that's what uh, attaches your plastic, and this also, also acts as a purlin. These are in 12-foot lengths. Ouch. Mm, hit my leg on one of the wooden stakes I left sticking out. Uh... 12 foot lengths and so I'll, I'll have a few of them down each side. I'll join them as tight as I can and probably put some duct tape so that whenever I snap the plastic in there, uh, you know, duct tape to cover the crack where it won't cut the plastic over time. Uh, so anyways, I have, <clears throat> I have these old windows here. They're laying sideways, but, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to build, I got four of them and i put uh one on top and then one under i'm gonna make frames for two doors and put two of them windows in each door uh and uh use that as a double door in the front of my greenhouse i have the arched windows right there i'll be putting a couple of them on either side of the door in the front of the greenhouse uh, that is the north side so i probably i'm not worried about putting plastic on that end I'm probably going to uh, 
face that whole end out around the windows and doors with uh, wood of some kind. Uh, we'll see. I've got some uh, fence pickets for six foot fence that I may use to fill in that wall. Uh, I've got some scrap plywood I may put on under it and then put that on top of it for looks. Put some stain on it. Look just fine. Uh, facing the road for me. So anyways, I know I have uh, I've got some more windows over here. I've got plenty of windows everywhere. I've gotten from old construction projects that I may be able to use. Some even on the back wall, maybe. Got an old sink right there and another uh, stainless steel kitchen sink and another pile that I'm going to be using on, the, on my potting bench. So I know I've waited kind of late for this and the cold weather's catching up to me. I'm probably going to have to pile a bunch of stuff inside my house back porch wrap it in plastic or something uh until i can get this done hopefully this little cool snap will give us some warmer weather uh for a little while just for the sake of me finishing uh here is my raised beds they did extend into here but uh we took them up and moved them back for right now uh just trashy looking right now but uh that's let me step back here there's some of them wood pickets I was going to use I was talking about so looking back that way the door will be on the far end this will be the back side and uh, anyways that's not much progress for the last what week or two but that's just how it goes sometimes hopefully next time I make y'all a video will be uh, show a lot more progress